Hey guys, so I decided to test out gas and grid to see how it feels about the, after the changes to the mana multipliers and that trigger skills now require you to spend the mana for those skills. And a lot of people said that gas and grid is dead, including me at the start, but then I started thinking that it could open up different possibilities because for example now you could use Archmage, which I'm not using in this build, but that's just one of the ideas. So I wanted to test out gas and crit and uh, just in general see how it feels. Uh, however, I decided, I guess, on a bit bad approach. Uh, so to solve the mana issues, I didn't want to go, uh, didn't want to use life tap, didn't want to go blood magic. So I decided to go Inquisitor because Inquisitor, Inquisitor's Pious Path node, it did got nerfed because it no longer has uh, ailment immunity. However, it still has the region, the ES region. So your life region, is also applied to the ES region. So if you got 500 life region, you get 500 ES region as well. Well, I am taking Eldritch better and that is all I need to sustain my um, mana needs for the for the procs. Um, I do have around 500 energy shield and I'm even using frost shield. Uh, frost shield drains your ES and uh, gives like um, an absorption shield. Even with that, I'm almost never running out of um, energy shield. And the frost shield does not like uh, continuously forever drain the ES. At some point, it it will stop draining, and that's that's that is enough. I also do have assassin's mark. I do have some cast and damage taken setups, and I do have uh, two skills on proc in the same cast and crit setup because I am using storm rain. Storm rain is um is a bit weird. It it's not probably the best for cast and crit because it has delay and it can fly over enemies it's not ideal however it is new and i wanted to test it out uh, by the way those who are having some issues with the visuals being too too strong with the storm rain lower the bloom effect a uh, bloom effect for me it's at 30 percent and it does not hurt my eyes so storm rain it does not have duration you shoot arrows into the air they land like um, rain of arrows and they stick to the ground and then start beaming they last for four beams for four like flickers after that they disappear you can increase beam frequency and the beam frequency is um, uh, locked to the skill it does not get increased with attack speed or duration or anything else other than specifically helmet enchantment and the skill um, anomalous out quality has 10 percent increased beam frequency however for this i found out that i don't really need beam frequency uh, you are gonna want certain amount of additional arrows if you're gonna be playing cast and crit especially with this setup because if you only shoot two arrows it's not gonna have enough coverage for the procs you're gonna have to shoot many times and reposition them many times basically the more arrows you have the better it feels uh, for the clear however you don't want to use gmp with this i am using uh, storm rain cast and crit and um, eye of winter and uh, hydrosphere with the chain snake pit ring and if you don't know uh, you, you can basically double your damage or, well, have a lot more damage with the chain. I have winter uh, his hydrosphere and chains to the boss, basically. But it has to be positioned in a, in a certain way, so you don't always get that damage. And uh, in most of the clips, you're going to see, well, just the clear speed mostly, a couple of rips, and, uh, and I, I haven't really done any of the conquerors because I would need to level up more to more comfortably do uh, tier 14, 15, 16 maps. I'm level 87, but I already got tired of it. I want to play a new build now. The main issue with this build, I am Inquisitor, and I cannot get block or dodge. What are my options for mitigation? I'm gonna name what defensive layers I have, and maybe you could improve this build. Actually, that could be a challenge for you. Uh, take the POB of this build and try to improve it, let's say on a 2x budget. Well, I don't want to spend too much, and maybe I actually I will go back and uh, adjust the build, like either to get a lot more damage on the 2x budget, uh, or to get a lot more defenses, because I think damage is not an issue, it, it felt fine, it just, I could not survive. So here are my defensive layers. I have Expeditions and which shields nearby enemies. I do have Petrified Blood, which I'm not sure if it helps, but it should help against bigger hits, because part of the damage is going to be taking over damage over time. So I got blind, I got chill, I got freeze, I got freeze proliferation, I got enduring charge generation, I got positive chaos resistance, um, and I got life gain on hit. And I am hitting many times per second. I also do have 
steel skin on the left click i also have frost shield on the on brock when uh, casting damage taken not the highest level but it still helps oh i did even anoint a uh, sanctum of forts uh, you take 20 percent reduced extra damage from critical strikes and it also has a reduced effect of course on you and i also added diversion and snaring arrow to slow enemies down even more and uh, and snare enemies take increased spell damage so what else can i add i still feel extremely squishy in in some cases if i'm not freezing enemies one enemy hits lose half of my half hp <laughs> and it just feels so sketchy uh, i am compiling a rip compilation i'm gonna maybe upload later and and you'll see that sometimes it seems like there's nothing and then i'm just dead and i do have last to remove um, well not remove but uh, i guess the freeze not to remove freeze but uh, aquamarine um i am carrying diamond flash but it's not needed and i'm still carrying granite flash which removes the, the course and um, well just gives armor and and tankness and yeah i don't know i don't know what else i can do to to not feel squishy with this build it feels like there aren't enough defensive layers if you don't go dodge or block and you are above like inquisitor th then like what can you do i would like to see if people could actually improve this build um on a budget like uh, either improve defenses a lot without losing damage or improve damage by like maybe well i wouldn't expect twice more damage for for that amount you can craft cast and crit bob with spell damage essence but i really need extra arrows uh, and i wanted chain so it was either chain on on uh, on above or it has to be a helmet enchantment for additional arrow then quiver with additional arrow uh, and and bob with additional arrow because free free arrow, shooting free arrows did not feel enough um so i end up actually replacing the beam frequency enchantment with the extra arrow enchantment in the end uh, by the way if you if you're crafting cast and crit bob i would need a four of course that would be pretty annoying to to get but it could be done but i decided that well since i got a 16 body armor and i cannot get the right uh, cast and crit bob i believe i still got one Oh uh, yeah, I still have one cast on crit bob, but I bought this one before thinking you you kind of want a bob with lower dex requirements. Uh, so you would want, I guess, ivory bob and just use essence of bow uh, until you get cast on crit, for example, which takes on average, I believe, around seventy essences. And I spent over two hundred essences uh, crafting, so I'm um, um, this is the best I could get right now. I am using animal storm rain, increase critical damage, uh, cast on crit, increase critical strike supports because if you do not crit. That's another thing. Storm rain, either all hits are gonna crit, uh, when we when we beam or none of them are gonna crit. It's not it does not roll critical strike chance on on separate hits. If you if you do not roll critical strike, it feels very bad because you have to shoot again. So you want to increase your critical strike chance as much as possible. And because this is inquisitor, each time you crit, you ignore enemy uh, resistances and. Uh, it it is worth using increased critical strike support. And then I have winter and hydrosphere. For other items, I do have a way of unreliably generating power charges through the Storm Rider because Hydrosphere does get shocked by the Storm Rain and uh, it, it, it uh, is able to shock chilled enemies so that generates power charges but it's very unreliable and against bosses I still have to use Storm Rider power charge on crit. So I'm also using like level 1 vitality for the Watcher side for, to get the life gain on hit. Uh, Zeltry, uh, Steel Skin on the left click and then Arrogance with Herald of Ice, Herald of Ice. By the way, I'm using Automaton Herald of Ice um, uh, MTX, which makes the visual clarity even more non-existent. And uh, Boots, nothing special, Belt, nothing special, just covering resistance as life, same for the gloves. Attack speed and accuracy is also very important. And yeah, you can review this build. The main point of this video was to show that cast and crit is still viable and uh, this is how you can easily overcome the, the the mana requirements. By the way, that's another thing. I'm using two skills because with Storm Rain, I can get a lot more procs than, than what I need. At least I assume it's kind of hard to tell, but it seems like I am proccing at maximum rate, which is 6.6 .6 something per second. So for that reason, it does make sense to add more than one um, active skill to cast because if you if you if you got let's say 20 procs per second you are kind of wasting like 60 uh, 14 procs right so in that case if you add another skill you're gonna cast both skills at the maximum proc rate and uh, overall should be more damage 
Um, what else is there? I think the video is already too long. That's all I wanted to say about this build. It's it's pretty cool. It's interesting. I can do return maps, but it's really not very pleasant when you get hit and then it just feels so sketchy all the time. As long as you freeze enemies, it feels fine. But then again, you also cannot really see what's happening behind all those MTXs and all those explosions. So yeah, time to move on to the next build. I guess thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.